In this video, I'll quickly and easily show you the Hitachi Data Connector for SAP for your Pentaho installation. After the successful download, you'll get two folders. One of them is the folder with the license files. Every single CP step has its own license file. And of course, the folder with the respective SAP steps. Each SAP step then also has its own folder here again. What you absolutely need, but doesn't come with the download. These are the Subchaco files. You need to download them from your SAP marketplace or your SAP administrator can provide them to you. If you're on Linux, that's the SO file. If you're on Windows, that's the corresponding DLL file, but both files are needed. Required? Once you have everything together, we still need to copy the license file for each individual SAP step. And the two SAP sub code files, how that works? I'll show you using the SAP table input example. If you're here, when you go into the folder, you need to place the license file there, in this case, SAP ERP. And in the lib folder, you must place the two JCO files. You need to repeat this step for every SAP step then. Once that's done, you can copy the steps into it. This is already prepared here. Here are the individual SRP steps, SRPD, DSO input. We have our SAP table input here again. And the whole thing is then in my data integration directory in the plugin folder. That's how we start in TAU. If Pentau is used or if the steps have been correctly installed, then under Transformation ITN SAP Connectivity, you can see them. Each step is visible there as well. Let's pull in our SAP ERP table input step. It now naturally needs a connection. We'll set it up here. Let's call it SAP. Now, of course, you need someone with read access to your SAP. You need to know your number. Just a moment, please. In my case, this is the developer. Will Elsend, I'd watch. Your connection is working. In my case, we've just set up a new connection. It's proper now. And then we can read out a table. Is it bad here? No. It's fetching the metadata now. That means I have various columns like customer, order item, currency, and I can preview them here. The data can now be directly extracted from my SAP. Yes, and just like that, it's quick and easy. Copy the plugins, place the license file, and put the subject code file into the folder. Copy the folder into the plugin folder. Pack up the step, drag the step here, set up a connection, and then you can easily extract your SIP data.